Right, okay, thanks David. Um, I realise I'm standing between you and your coffee, so I'll get straight in. Um, one of David's legacies, and I think this will, this will be uh, living a long time after he's left, is, is setting up the thing called the tricameral um, structure for sustainability at the university. So I'm going to change tack a bit and talk about us, talk about us, the, the university here. The tricameral structure is, is research, represented by ISSR, operations, campus operations, and um, teaching and learning. And so I'm going to talk about this, and I'm going to talk about um, how this relates to whole institutional change here at Plymouth. Um, so I work for the Centre for Sustainable Futures. It was uh, one of Plymouth's four kettles, centres of excellence for teaching and learning, running with hefty funding from 2005 to 2010. Um, and we did a lot of work trying to embed sustainability right across the piece, not just in curriculum, but in campus operation uh, and, and community and the culture of the university. And uh, the work since then has, has built on that uh, platform. So as you probably know, uh, sitting here, um, Plymouth has a particularly good, str strong reputation in sustainability around research and teaching and learning. It's part of our role to try and substantiate the claims that, uh, that the university makes around this area. Um, a year or two ago, you may have bumped into this uh, hoarding, or uh, seen it at least, the massive hoarding outside the marine um, uh, building was just going up, and that's now echoed. If you walk around the roundabout, uh, that side, right across the Babbage frontage is another sign uh, with these kind of words on it. So we're making a statement to the world about our sustainability uh, aspirations and credentials, if you like. But what does this mean? How do we know we're doing it? How do we know we're doing it well? So we do have a, a strong reputation nationally and internationally for sustainability. Um, but this is part, we're part of a, a wider movement in the higher education sector, if you like. And there's growing interest in the whole institutional response to sustainability, embracing certainly research, but governance, leadership, teaching and learning, campus operations, community relations, student experience, and also organisational learning. And I mention organisational learning because um, universities which have made strides with the left-hand side, which is student provision, are also um, making progress with organisational learning towards sustainability. And just after this afternoon, I'm going up to Leeds for a two-day event, working with six other institutions uh, on whole institutional change through the curriculum around sustainability. So there is a, a lot of work going on here. And I think what makes uh, Plymouth's um, story a strong one is a wide-scale willingness here to learn from each other and work across divisions and, bar and, divisions and barriers. We're doing very well on uh, national sustainability leagues and indexes. This is uh, the criteria, the four uh, quadrants of the a thing called the Learning in Future Environment Scheme. And we're the first of um, two universities which have gone through this scheme. And we've just won a silver award and very nearly touched on a gold award. And you can see from this that they are looking for a whole institutional response to sustainability. And my particular um, responsibility is learning and teaching. Uh, and associated research down on the um, bottom right hand side corner. In terms of the university's mandate, um, the, the new university strategy has sustainability as its ambition for uh, one of four key ambitions, and this is the line which particularly relates to curriculum, which gives us a mandate to take this forward. Um, and so uh, the, the work of CSF, the Centre for Sustainable Futures, is to work on supporting curriculum to support also pedagogic research related to sustainability, sustainability and also um, support the greening of the university ac across the board, if you like, working with ISSR and uh, campus operations. Importantly, a mandate also comes from the student body. This represents uh, uh, work over three years by the National Union of Students, uh, which has found uh, working with um, first and second year students that uh, around two thirds of students believe sustainability should be covered by their university. And in the, the very last paragraph on the very far right, a new question was asked last year, and that's just being processed now, a report will be out in May. Um, and the question was, do, should all subject centres do something to embed sustainability? And around 50% of people of students said uh, yes to that. So. Uh, at CSF, we're working to support um, sustainability and gather data for the LIFE um, submission and also the, the Green League, which we're also doing well at. Uh, we've also been national leaders in producing 
resources. The, the book on the left came out in 2010. Uh, the framework which I produced for the Higher Education Academy came out last year and there's three copies outside if you're interested in that, which is really supporting academics wanting to take this further. Uh, in terms of uh, monitoring progress, we did a, a review last year and these are some of the uh, key factors coming out of that review. Look, uh, we sent uh, uh, questionnaires to all programme leaders right across the university and got a 50% response, which we were very pleased with. Um, in terms of pedagogic research, we're involved in these four areas, quite small scale bits of research, but quite important and, potential, and got potential to be taken further. Um, and I think there's real potential to connect up uh, colleagues interested in sustainability related pedagogic research and take that a lot of further, but also to um, make better links between the sustainability researchers per se and research informed teaching. Um, working through the Pedagogic Research Institute, uh, PEDRIO, uh, and ISSR. And we have a new manager called Adam Fisher, who's here today. And uh, I think Adam and Paul Harden will be able to help uh, facilitate that process. So where's all this going? Um, after eight years working at this with colleagues here and uh, outside Plymouth, uh, there's another quick plug. Uh, same boring cover as Roy's, <laughs> Roy's uh, title, uh, but the same publisher. Um, but uh, exploring the idea of the sustainable university, what does that mean? And, it's, and uh, there are 10 chapters from 10 different universities in the UK who have been working on different aspects of sustainability in their university. And, uh, th and uh, I think uh, we're arguing that the university of the future should be a sustainable university. And we're trying to explore the, the ideas and opportunities that idea, that rich idea um, Presents. And this is another way of, of influencing uh, the, the wider sector, not just work here at Plymouth. And one of the quotes I got for this book is, I'm going to finish off with this quote um, from a colleague in South Africa, which she has a rather nice quote uh, about uh, the idea of the sustainable university. And I think, um, I think Plymouth can make a very credible claim to be being well on the way to this kind of vision because I think there's a lot of collaboration, a lot of forward-looking work as evidenced by contributions today, and I'm very pleased to be part of that process. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen.